Riders, what's going on? It's another time, Tuesday, another time for a ride home review. And this week, I uh, I went and saw Unsane, uh, which is directed by Steven Soderbergh, if you know him from Logan Lucky, uh, Traffic, and such, and starred uh, uh, Claire Foy uh, from The Crown. So I think uh, it's the first movie I've seen her in. Uh, Joshua Leonard, and of course, a great performance by Jay Farrow. Uh, before we continue, I just want to let you know to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, all that jazz. Um, to get more ride home reviews and all sorts of stuff, as as well as uh, some TV reviews on my Anchor channel as well. So anyway, well, what's this film about? Well, Unsane takes uh, place in uh, with uh, in Pennsylvania with the character of Sawyer, played by Claire Foy, who just moved uh, to this new area and um, is feeling a little down, decides to uh, talk to somebody and gets admitted into this hospital and her past comes up, comes back to catch up with her, in a sense. So, uh, now they say that this movie was shot completely on it using an iPhone and I guess you could catch that a little bit um, and I wasn't really impressed I wasn't really impressed with the cinematography in this the shot selection the composition of the shots and using some of uh, what the iPhone can do with composition was pretty cool um, to get you uh, with the extreme close-ups for to get get a get a strange feel um, you know, with with depth of field of what the iPhone lens can do. Uh, so that was all right. But as for the color, and I don't know, I just it just felt I don't know, just cheap uh, in a little bit. Um, Claire Foy was really good. I mean, the the acting was pretty good. Um, she lost her accent a couple times. Um, and it was noticeable, severely noticeable, because she is British. Um, but all in all, uh, the acting was great. Um, Joshua Leonard was awesome. Jay Farrow, surprising, he, he was really key to this this film, his character. The story, um, for the most part, it was it was really good. It kept you going. There were some tense parts. Of course, this is a Steven Soderbergh film, so it's going to be pretty decent. But I felt the end uh, was just uh, not very good. Um, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't feel like it was complete and for all the setup that it did, uh, and it just, it just felt like, ah, oh, we're done. We're done. And so, um, so it just didn't, just didn't have that, just didn't have that completeness to it that, um, and I just felt like this was a gimmick to shoot the entire film with a, with a iPhone to the interesting job but I just like I said I, I don't know so I mean the story could have been better um, I, there was some of the setups that were good but just felt incomplete what to watch for well there's a surprise cameo and I'm not gonna spoil this one like I did for a wrinkle in time I apologize for that so anyway um, so check for that uh, don't recommend seeing this in a, in a movie theater I mean I don't really think the film translated very well to the big screen that's my thoughts and so like I said it might have been a little gimmicky but uh, performances were all right so if you're a fan of Steven Soderbergh this isn't one of his top films uh, you're not missing anything if you miss this movie so there you have it that's my ride home review hope you enjoy it uh, and once again subscribe to us on YouTube follow us on Instagram like us on Facebook as this review with everyone else. So, all right. So until next time, watch something cool.